Welcome back. Well, as you take a look at the headlines moving forward, obviously it's been so nice the last couple days. We're warming up, we're bringing back the clouds, and we're bringing back the threat of rain as we move forward throughout this work week. Tomorrow, the chance for a few spotty showers, mainly during the afternoon. Not a complete loss for the day, but keep an eye on New Year's Eve. If you have some plans to be out and about, just know that we could be rocking in the new year with some very strong thunderstorms. Current timing. Shows that line of thunderstorms arriving in the capital area probably just before midnight. And then once we get past that line of storms, it looks like we get a nice little cool start to the new year. So here's the latest. Obviously, warm front driving northbound. For us, we're in the warm sector. Why temperatures this evening are going to stay very mild. But here's the concern. Moving into New Year's Eve, we fall under a slight risk for severe weather. And that's for the entire viewing area. As you see, that is a two out of five. Main thing is going to be a line of thunderstorms with the possibility of some damaging winds. But there is that threat. We could see an isolated a thunderstorm out there where we could see some rotating winds that could spin up in a tornado or two out there. So we need to keep an eye on that. And obviously, this is going to most likely happen during the nighttime hours. So it's going to be a little bit difficult to see. Doppler radar out there, as you see, we've got a quiet picture for the time being. But as we move forward, your future cast just shows you a couple clouds out there, a couple showers, kind of hit or miss, should be light to moderate, nothing substantial. As we continue to move forward, you see that as we walk into Thursday, some cloudy skies out there, a couple afternoon showers, but it looks like that main line is going to drive through Thursday. Now it's changed just a little bit on intensity, obviously, with the latest run. It was showing much more in the way of action, but you can see even moving. To midnight or slightly after, we could be dealing with those showers and thunderstorms out there, and then quickly seeing those storms race off towards the east by the time we get into. I would say maybe mainly midday on Friday, New Year's Day. That's when we'll see the rain chances drop. So we got some storms out there Thursday. We'll get back into a drier pattern Friday and Saturday, and things are really looking good weather-wise as we move into next week. But a much cooler picture as that cold air returns on the backside of that cold front. Current temperatures out there right now: 19 in International Falls, 21 in the Twin Cities. Right now, 27 in Chicago. But for us, 65 in Mild, 73 in San Antonio, even 68 now in the Dallas Metroplex. So 65 out there. That's a key live tower cam. Not too bad. We got a couple clouds off in the distance. Our winds are currently out of the east now at 11 miles per hour. But 72 officially this afternoon. 10 degrees above normal. We started out at 45 degrees, and I think we're going just a few degrees warmer by tomorrow afternoon. So here you go. Tomorrow morning, we start out mild with those temperatures in the upper 50s. Look for temperatures to quickly accelerate back into the 70s by the afternoon. But as you notice, long range, yes, we're going to see a drop in temperatures early next week. But looking long range towards the end of next week, going into the weekend, the following weekend, looks like we've got a pretty mild pattern ahead of us. So here's that hourly outlook. Yes, we'll see some sunshine tomorrow, but pretty limited as those clouds quickly return, as we'll see the chance for a few possible showers throughout the afternoon. 58 out there for tonight, mostly cloudy, much warmer winds out of the southeast as we move into your day tomorrow. Again, the clouds return, some spotty rain, not a a complete loss for your day. Remember that we have partnered up with iHeartRadio, and here is that seven day picture for you. You see, we got 73 with some clouds out there, the chance for a shower or two down to 62, extremely warm overnight. Moving into New Year's Eve, the chance for some showers and thunderstorms starting out early evening, spotty, and then as we move into probably a window from about 11 to about 2 at night, we're going to be looking for a line of thunderstorms that could be rather strong by Friday. On the back side of that front, temperatures drop into the 60s, some sunshine. Nice dry pattern moving into early next week, and also much cooler out there. We've got highs sitting in the 50s come Saturday, Sunday, and by Saturday night, we're already dropping back into the mid 30s. Temperatures gradually warm up as we head into midweek.